Jiu Jitsu 2000 here today. I'm back with an interesting video. Behind me, I have the two stoves. I have the Primus Himalaya OmniFuel and I have the MSR Whisper Light Universal. Now you can see that I have the Primus pump in a Whisper Light bottle. <laughs> Should I say, in an MSR bottle. The Primus pump I always use on MSR bottles and I never have a problem. Now, what I want to talk about in the video today is can you use the Primus pump on the Whisper Light stove? Now, in here, in this fuel bottle, I have regular gasoline, which just a minute ago I was using the OmniFuel with gasoline, and, and this threads right onto the fuel bottle, right? And I have a valve control here. And I also have a valve control here. And I have the .37 jet in the Primus stove. Works great with gasoline. Now, some thoughts were going through my head. I was thinking, man, I wonder if I could use this valve, or should I say this pump, with the MSR stove. So what I've done is I've left, okay, the MSR stove comes with three jets. It comes with the UC, which is for canisters. It comes with the UG for gas, you know, white gas and gasoline and things like that. And it comes with the UK for kerosene. So what I've done is I've left the UG for gas inside here. So that's the jet that's inside the stove. On here, on the other end, I took the liquid, liquid um, connector off, which is this piece. I took this off. And I left the UC valve on the stove. And today I'm just basically here for an experiment to see if we can get these things to match up and work together. I think they can. Some of you out there might be wondering why would you want to try to use a Primus pump on an MSR stove? Well, first of all, these Primus pumps are very durable. They're very strong. They're all metal construction. The MSR pumps are plastic. They work good, but they're plastic. So let's take a look. Let's go ahead and pump this up, this MSR fuel bottle with the Primus pump. Let's go ahead and put some pressure in it. about 30 strokes, 30 pumps, and I'll be back. Now, when it comes to connecting the fuel bottle using a Primus pump to the MSR stove, there's one thing that you need to know. And what I recommend is opening this valve just a little bit because when these two make contact, nine times out of 10, it squirts a little bit of fuel. So I open the valve just slightly. I'm going to have to prime the stove anyway. So I open the valve just to allow some of this fuel to go into there. And I'm also taking a close look. Hopefully you can see this. I'm taking a very close look at the priming cup right here on the stove. So I'm going to go ahead and make this connection right here. And when I see that priming cup get full, I'm going to turn this valve off. So you'll probably see a little bit of leakage, but it's it's never too much. Okay, now we're pressurizing the stove. Let's turn the valve off. See the priming cup is full? Let me take my rag and clean this little mess here. Clean that up. Now this, uh, this Primus fuel pump has an on side and an off side. So I'm going to leave it on the on side. And in the meantime, I'm going to take my lighter and I'm going to go ahead and light this Whisper Light Universal. See that priming cup is full of, of gas. You're going to see a bunch of big yellow flames just like normal. Okay. And that's going to be heating up this generator loop. And what this generator loop does, for those of you who don't understand, is the fuel comes from the stove or should I say from the bottle in a liquid form and when it comes up through here once this generator loop is hot it'll convert that liquid somewhere in this area 
from a liquid to a gas and it'll come down here as a gas and it'll spray gas up into the burner head. Now the reason we got liquid instead of gas right now is because the stove has not been primed yet. It's not been heated yet. So I'm going to light that. I'm going to kill this light behind me so you can see the flame a little better. And I'm just going to wait. You know, I know that some of my videos are a little bit longer than others, and that's not, you know, it's not like I'm all excited about having long videos. It's just I like to show things in real time so that you guys don't miss anything. In the back back there, right here, you can see that I have a container, a pan, full of water. It's got two water bottles. 20 ounces each so it has 40 ounces of water in there and I'm gonna boil that water here in a minute so once I start seeing this priming cup fuel burn down and, and get rid of that fuel then I'll slowly turn this valve on and introduce more fuel into the system and the stove will be primed but for now that's normal priming the way that the way you see it right now that's normal it happens every time whether I'm using an MSR bottle or the Primus bottle or the Primus pump, whatever pump, whatever bottle, it does the same thing every time. It's known as the priming process. So I'm going to slowly introduce a little fuel here and see what happens. I'm starting to see a mild flame. I just wanted to make sure I'm getting a little bit of flame. One thing that I like about the the MSR stoves is they have what they call a shaker jet technology. What that is is if you have, like you saw that soot burning a minute ago, if you were to have any kind of issue with cleanliness, you know, because we're burning gasoline, and sometimes that carbon will get up into that jet, that UG jet, and it will gum that jet up, and then we have to come over here and shake the stove. You hear that little rattle, and what that rattle is is a little needle going up and down in the in the stove there. I'm going to turn this stuff over here so it's a little bit better view for you. So here's my valve. I can slowly control the stove. Look at that. Let me step up in front of you. Sorry, guys. Let's take a look and see what kind of flame control we have. Got to move the chair real quick. Okay, so we have this valve right here. Let's take a look. Looks like we have pretty good flame control. You know, and it's it's pretty pretty responsive actually. The flame control looks like it's better than the original setup that comes from MSR. So, I guess the point that I'm trying to make in this video is you can do a little bit of both worlds and put a stove together that does everything you want. So now, let's take my phone here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take my phone, get rid of texting, hang, hang on just a second, go to my clock, and I'm going to do a timer, and I'm going to set this back here. Hopefully you can see that in the back, and that timer is going to time the amount of time that it takes for me to boil 40 ounces of water. And we'll set that on. Let's get that timer started. So again, I'm going to be doing this in real time. I'm not going to be cutting the footage or anything. You're going to see everything as it happens. And I'm not doing this in an effort to bore you. I'm just doing this to show you what's going on and how versatile this stove is. You know, I really am a firm believer of the Primus pumps, but I like the MSR stoves. <laughs> so this is kind of a way that I can get both worlds here. So I can kind of zoom in on that flame for you. I'm not adjusting anything on the... Uh, 
fuel valve because it's wide open at this point. You can see that that thing is just heating away. I'm looking down from the top, down into this uh, pan, and I'm seeing some very mild bubbles. I'll, I'll let you see what I'm looking at here. Bear with me. We're about a minute and ten seconds in. See that light boiling happening? So again, this is an MSR stove with the Primus pump using the UC valve and the UG jet. So again, we get the best of both worlds. A minute 38. What do we got here? We're starting to get a light boil. You know, one thing that, that I want to mention is, as you can see right now, I'm proving that the Primus pump is more than happy to work with the MSR stove. But I can't say the opposite. The MSR pump will not work with the Primus stove at all. We're getting a good boil. Two minutes and 23 seconds. It's pretty good to me, folks. 40 ounces of water. That's a pretty powerful little stove. Set this camera back up. Pardon me for the tricky camera work here. Setting this thing down. We have reached a good rolling boil at this point. Everything is really cool. Working good. Again, I mentioned earlier that this fuel pump from Primus says on. Well, if I flip this over to where it says off, then what happens is it will depressurize the stove and eventually and eventually it'll stop running. So it's basically taking the pressure out of the tank in an effort to let the stove shut down nice and easily. This takes a little bit of time. You can hear that the flames are starting to get affected. Now, you hear that? The flame went out. And you can still hear the, the stove just hissing away. But if I was to take a lighter and try to light that, it's not going to light anything. Because all that I'm getting right now, that sound, is air that's inside of the tank. The MSR pumps do the same thing. So anyway, I want to say thank you for watching the video today. I hope that you found some good useful information please feel free as always to like share comment on this video and if you like the general type of content that you see on my channel please give me a subscription I'd love to have you and until next time have a beautiful day bye bye everybody so get out there and enjoy both worlds MSR and Primus later